Babies. Rated PG starts everywhere Friday. Welcome back. Senator Ted Kaufman wants some answers from regulators on last Thursday's market slide. He joins us this morning to talk more about that. Senator, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, we're beginning to hear from traders that not only do we not know what caused this, this meltdown, but that we might not never. We might never. I think that's right. We might never know. Uh, do you have a sense of where to start probing for answers? Yeah, well, I think first we got to get some data. And one of the problems I've been talking about for the last nine months is the fact that we just don't have proper tagging. We don't have the data. We don't have the time and customer names and much of the executions. Securities Exchange Commission just doesn't have it. And so the big problem we have is we don't have any data to go back and look at it. And so what I've been saying is that we've got to, we've got to get in and do that. We've got the Securities and Exchange Commission to do that. On April 14th, they did announce that they have a proposed tagging uh, uh, rule. And so that'll be a big step, but it's awful hard. The other thing is we have so many markets now, more than we ever had before. Uh, we have market makers. Uh, they've eliminated naked access. That's a good thing. But we have market makers that are not responsible to have a fair and orderly market. So we have had a lot of change over the last eight to ten years, and we've done very little about it in terms of trying to figure out what's going on. Um, so, uh, so what do you want to ask regulators then? I mean, and, and where's the danger of making any kind of uh, decisions or conclusions without that data you speak of? Well, it's, this is dangerous. My first step, which I've been talking about, as I said, for, for the last nine months, is we need the data. We need to know what's going on in these, uh, in these markets. Uh, we've had a lot of change. Uh, we had a lot of money. And my, what I look back on, you look at where we've had problems, we have a lot of change, a lot of money, no transparency or very little transparency is what we have right now, and then no regulation. There was no regulation. We have a problem. That's what happened to derivatives. We had a big meltdown. We didn't know what was going on. The same thing is going on with high frequency trading. I've been talking about that for, as I say, for quite a while. And the Securities Exchange Commission is moving. They decided to look into market structure, uh, but uh, they're moving much too slow. This is a very serious problem. Do you, do you buy the big board's uh, premise that what's needed maybe is more human intervention, more specialists, more guys on the floor? I think we've got to go back. I'll tell you what, we have to go back and look at this change. What we essentially happened is we went through this, we went from, you know, a floor-based system to de digitalization, decimalization. We went from 30% of our trades being high-frequency trading to 70%. We went from essentially a small number of markets to now 50 markets. This is all this change, and there's been nothing done from regulatory, uh, nothing major done from regulatory effort to look at. To. We had, went through a period where basically people said we didn't need any regulators. So frankly, this is all uh, a dark area that we have to get some light into or we're in, favor, we're in trouble meltdown. And I'm just saying I, the reason why I'm so upset is I talked about this last September, this very thing, exactly what we talked about on the Senate floor. And now it's September, here we are in May, and uh, we've got a tagging thing, but it's moving much, much, much too slowly. Have you heard from anybody, uh, say, in other countries, who uh, have asked you, what are you guys doing over there? I mean, to what extent is our credibility oh, yeah. as, a, as, a, as a technician of markets been hurt? Let me tell you something. I started on this. I didn't start on this. I started on this because of my concern about the credibility of our capital markets, U.S. credit markets. Two things make America great. Two bases are democracy and the credibility of our, cre uh, of our credit markets. A capital markets, and you just don't see it. And there's a report out of Australia. They're looking into the high frequency trading. There's a study going on in the UK looking into the high frequency trader. Here are the place where most of it's going on. We're moving, but we're not moving at, 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 at a high rate of speed. And we've got a lot of ground to cover because basically we've gone through eight to 10 years of major technological change, major market change uh, without any transparency and regulation. This is incredibly important. We talk a lot on the Senate floor about uh, leaving something to our grandchildren. I would hate to be in a position where I left our, my grandchildren, the fact that America doesn't have the number one U.S. capital, most credible capital markets in the world. Right. Well, Thursday was a wake-up call for a lot of people uh, who yeah, weren't nice. on board yet. Uh, Senator, we'll be watching. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Senator Kaufman. When we come up at uh, 8.40 a.m. this morning, Senator Mark Warner will talk about the fat finger trade, as they call it, as well as the grease bailout. So many different theories about what exactly happened last week. That's right.